Hello everyone welcome back to the channel today. I am going to be ranking all of the prime card fighters, let's get into it. Number 20 to for me is SX. For me SX didn't really do much in this fight he did try his best. But it just didn't go in his favor. He is going to come back to boxing after this fight which I respect a lot so yeah. I have a lot of respect for SX stepping in the ring he just didn't do much. Number 21 for me is Swarms. Swarms looked decent in the first 20 seconds of the first round. Before he got knocked down I do think that he did do something to his ankle unfortunately. Because I had a feeling he would win this fight it just unfortunate to see it. Number 20 for me is Dylan Donnie's. Okay Dylan Donnie's was just a joke all he did in this fight. Is have his hands up the entire fight he threw like 5 punches the entire fight. But I do have to give him respect. To actually step in the ring because he pussied out of fighting KSI. Number 19 for me is DTG. DTG looked decent in this fight. He looked way better than his fight against Halelham. His skill has improved a lot. And threw a lot of good shots and did get the win so respect for that. Number 18 for me is Winderson Nunes. Winderson Nunes demonstrated commendable fighting skills. Against my mate Nate, despite losing by decision, his performance showcased promise. While the outcome may not have met high expectations, it's clear Nunes has potential for growth in combat sports. This fight serves as a valuable learning experience, highlighting areas for refinement and development in his technique and strategy. Number 17 for me is Alexia Grace. In a surprising turn, Alexia Grace displayed remarkable skill in her match against Astrid Wett, despite her best efforts. Victory remained elusive, Grace's performance was noteworthy, showcasing her determination and ability in the ring, while the outcome didn't favor her. Number 16 for me is King Kenny. King Kenny's performance left room for improvement, as he appeared somewhat lackluster in the fight. It seemed he didn't muster enough aggression or strategy, regrettably. This contributed to his loss, despite the disappointment. There's potential for growth with focused training and refined technique in future matches. Number 15 for me is Astrid Wett. Astrid Wett displayed exceptional prowess in the fight. Effectively outmaneuvering Alexia, her skills were notably impressive, demonstrating a high level of proficiency in the ring. Number 14 for me is my mate Nate. It's remarkable how my mate Nate's skills have evolved. Initially surprised by his performance against King Kenny, it's evident he's undergone a significant transformation. His current level of skill is nothing short of extraordinary. Number 13 for me is Ed Matthews. Ed Matthews' performance was truly astonishing. While I had an inkling of his skill, he exceeded expectations by swiftly knocking down swarms within the first 30 seconds of the opening round. Unfortunately, Swarms couldn't rise due to an ankle issue, revealing the extent of Matthews. Proficiency. Number 12 for me is Tempo Arts. Tempo Arts displayed significant improvement in the fight, showcasing impressive skills, while, in my opinion, Chase may have won. Tempo's performance was commendable, he landed some clean shots, underscoring his progress and ability in the ring. Number 11 for me is Chase Demor. Chase Demore's performance was nothing short of extraordinary. In this fight, in my view, he poses a substantial challenge to the heavyweight division. His skills were notably impressive, further solidifying his potential in the ring. Number 10 for me is Los Pineda Coladas. Los Pineda Coladas shown in the tag team match. While Pineda may not have been as prominent, B. Dave delivered an exceptional performance. He effectively outmaneuvered Nickel Mao and Alex Wasabi, showcasing impressive skills and control in the ring. Number 9 for me is Wasabi Mao. Wasabi Mao impressed me as well. Both Nickel Mao and Alex Wasabi demonstrated a high level of skill and coordination. It was evident that they had a clear understanding of their tactics and executed them effectively in the fight. Number 8 for me is Salt Pappy. Salt Pappy showcased his resilience and remained a formidable contender despite not securing the victory. His dedication to weight loss is commendable. Although he faced tough opponents in Anthony Taylor and Slim. I agree he deserves a shot against some prominent names in the future. Number 7 for me is Logan Paul. Logan Paul's performance was solid. Though I share your sentiment about his lower output, despite this. 
He demonstrated excellent precision in outmaneuvering Dillian. It's clear he possesses considerable skill, and with some adjustments. He could further refine his fighting style. Number six for me is Walid Sharks. Whaled Sharks deserves commendation. For his relentless effort in the fight, he showed impressive moments. Even managing to rattle Dean at times, overall. His performance was admirable, and he demonstrated great skill in the ring. Number five for me is Anthony Taylor. Anthony Taylor is making a strong impression. On your influencer top 10 list. His entertaining style and performances certainly make him a compelling figure in the ring. It'll be exciting to see what he brings in future matches. Number four for me is Slim. Absolutely. Slim's willingness to take on some of the toughest opponents, including Face Temper, Ryan Taylor, and Salt Pappy, showcases his dedication and fearlessness in the ring. He deserves commendation for his bravery and sportsmanship. Slim's determination is truly commendable. Number three for me is Dean the Great. Dean the Great's performance clearly left a lasting impression. His impressive display against Waleed showcases his prowess in the ring. It's no surprise he's climbing higher in your influencer top 10. Dean's skills and fighting style are certainly noteworthy. Number two for me is Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury's performance, well he showed moments of skill. There were aspects that left you disappointed. It's worth noting that each fight provides an opportunity for growth and improvement. Your assessment offers valuable insights into his strengths and areas that may need refinement. Number one for me is KSI. KSI's transition from a YouTuber to a formidable boxer is truly remarkable. It's a testament to his dedication and hard work. He faced a skilled opponent in Tommy Fury. And the fact that KSI held his own and even made Tommy look just okay speaks volumes about his progress and determination in the sport. Thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more content coming soon.